Today's drama, The Gajapatis, has been dedicated to His Grace, Dayal Gopal Prabhu. In connection with Sri Sri Radha Kunj Bihari Temple and Sri Sri Radha Vrindavan Chandra Temple, His Grace Dayal Gopal Prabhu has always been a backbone for the cultural activities, especially inspirational dramas in form of visual preaching that carry a strong message passed upon by our Vaishnav Acharyas. Though physically not present, His Grace Dayal Gopal Prabhu's spiritual presence truly has been a motivating factor. Today's drama, The Gajapatis, has been presented following the principles of Nata Shastra, interwoven with rasas, culminating love, devotion, and heroism. The special dances by the disciples of Mrs. Shama Taibhate of the Nadrup Kathak Nrityale Pune lifts this reporter, adding elegance and grace. In past, his grace Dayal Gopal Prabhu himself played the role of the king of Kanchi, Shalva Narasimha. The illustrations portraying history of Gajapatis have been sketched by His Grace Partha Haridas. The unique thing about today's drama is that it has been directed by the second generation of devotees, children of Pune congregation, namely Bhakt Chandra Krishna Thevar, Prathamesh Gupta, Keshu Bhujbal, and Saurabh Jalnekar. We specially thank the devotees, organizers of today's show by giving us this platform to present this performance. Indeed, the presence of all you Vaishnavas assembled as audience inspire us and add glory to this divine evening. Enacted by the team of devotees from Pune, we present the Gajapatis. Bharat, a land of unique diversity. This very land of Bharat is the home of Dharma. Countless devotees, kings and heroes are sons of this very soil. Odisha, the land in the east of Bharat, famous for its arts and crafts, dance and music, intricately carved temples, and noble kings of great valor. Since the 6th century, many dynasties of kings made this land of Odisha their home. 1435 This year marked the arrival of the Gajapatis and heralded the golden period of Odisha. Gajapati etymologically means a king with an army of elephants. Maharaj Kapilendra, the emperor and founder of the Gajapati dynasty, annexed large swaths of territory extending from the Ganges in the north to the Kaveri in the south. Kapilendra Dev patronized Vaishnavism and expanded the Jagannath temple at Puri. 1470 this year witnessed the sudden death of Maharaj Kapilendra, which shook the entire kingdom of Odisha. Taking advantage of the weak situation in Odisha, the Mughal Sultan, Muhammad Shah, occupied Kondapalli and Rajamandiri in the south. The king of Vijayanagar swooped on the lands to the south of the Godavari River. Nonetheless, Exhibiting great valor, the illustrious son of Maharaj Kapilendra heroically fought back and started capturing all the lost territories. Thus, mounting on the horse of victory, he reached the borders of the Vidyanagar territory.
Glories to you, King Purushottam Dev. Your strength and valor truly represents the great lineage of the Gajapatis, embarked by your father, Maharaj Kapilendra Dev. The Manikya throne of Vidyanagar awaits to honor you, O Gajapati. <laughs> For me, the crown of Vidyanagar is not as valuable and precious as the jewel on that crown. The deity of Sakshi Gopal. Name Bhaktya Pranashyati. Name Bhaktya Pranashyati. This was the same Lord who walked all the way from Vrindavan right up until here in Vidyanagar just to honor the word of his devotee. We, we are blessed, O Senapati. We are truly blessed. With all due respect and a grand procession, Arrange the voyage of the Lord to our kingdom at Orissa. In this way, King Purushottam Dev expanded the boundaries of his father's kingdom like no one else. He was considered invincible and so was never defeated in battle. The kingdom of Odisha, under his strong leadership, now extended from the Ganges to the Godavari. King Purushottam Dev ruled over the hearts of his subjects, but someone else ruled over this king's heart. Bhagwan Shri Jagannath. Portraying his complete devotion and dedication to Lord Jagannath, King Purushottam, after winning the Manikya throne of Vidyanagar, took it to Jagannath Puri and presented it to Lord Jagannath. He also established regular worship of the Sakshi Gopal deity at Katak in Odisha. One day, King Purushottam, along with Queen Padmavati, went to take darshan of Sakshi Gopal. Witnessing the darshan of this most beautiful and marvelous form of the Lord, Queen Padmavati, with great devotion, presented various kinds of ornaments. The Queen had a very valuable pearl, which she wore on her nose, and she decided to offer this pearl to Sakshi Gopal. But she started wondering, is there a hole in the deity's nose for me to offer this pearl to him? Considering this, the queen offered her obeisances to Sakshi Gopal and returned to her palace. And that night, someone appeared in the queen's dream. Oh, Queen Padmavati, during my childhood, my mother made a hole in my nose and with great endeavor set a pearl there. That very hole is still there and you can use it to set the pearl you desired to give me. Enchanted by this dream, the queen quickly informed this to the king 
both the king and the queen, then went to the temple with the pearl. Seeing the hole in the nose of the deity, they set the pearl there, and being very pleased, held a great festival. Such was the glory of Queen Padmavati and King Purushottam. History narrates an extraordinary epic of the meeting of this great Gajapati king and queen. To witness this, let us go back in time to the 14th century and enter the royal court of Gajapati Maharaj Shri Purushottam Dev. वंश शिरोमणि परम प्रतापी दिग्विजय गजपति महाराज श्री पुरुषोत्तम देव राज दरबार में पधार रहे गजपति महाराज श्री पुरुषोत्तम देव की Glories to your highness. By the mercy of Lord Jagannath, the boundaries of our kingdom are expanding in all the four directions. The various officers of our kingdom are fully dedicated in their services to the citizens. Indeed, protected by you, the cows, brahmins, children, the elderly and the women are experiencing peace and happiness. All the residents of our kingdom are satisfied with your administration, O King. Indeed, there is auspiciousness throughout. 
Yes, Mahamantri. This is an order for us. However, you have not reported anything about the most important part of our administration. I beg forgiveness, dear king. The lord of our hearts and kingdom, Bhagavan Shri Jagannath, is being duly worshipped every day with love and devotion. Lord Jagannath is worshipped with flowers, tulsi leaves, chandan and other paraphernalia elaborately by the pandas. Service to the pilgrims, temple cleanliness, preparation of 56 items of bhoga and maha prasad distribution at Anand Bazar is all going on smoothly. Mahamantri, this is the real purpose of our kingship. To please Lord Jagannath. Jai Jagannath. Jai Jagannath. Senapati, what is our next venture? Kanchipuram, Your Highness, our lost kingdom. As per our standard, Firstly, send the peace messenger to the king of Kanchi, Shalvanar Simma. If he rejects our peace message, then war is inevitable. Senapati, prepare to march for Kanchi. In this way, Purushottam Dev's army camped on the outskirts of Kanchi. A special messenger was sent to the palace of Kanchi Puram. Your Highness, the envoy of the King of Orissa has arrived with a peace proposal. All glories to the king of Kanchi, Shalvanar Sima. Welcome to Kanchipuram. King Purushottam Dev's rule and administration is legendary. Not only is he a great warrior, but also a respectable king. I admire his governance. And so, I have such a special proposal for your king that there would be no need left for me to accept your peace proposal. Kindly forgive me, Your Highness, but what is the proposal you have that is more special than a peace message? That, my dear messenger, I feel it appropriate to reveal it to King Purushottam. As you desire, O King. The next day. Arriving to the royal court is Gachpati Maharaj Sri Purushottam Dev. Hearty welcome to you, O King. Today, the royal court of Kanchipuram is blessed in receiving such a distinguished personality as Your Excellency. Please be seated. I am feeling delighted to have you here, O Gajpati. Just like the thundering sound of drums beaten in harmony echoes all around, the roaring sound of your glories have been ringing in my ears for long. And at last, I have obtained the good fortune of meeting you in person. I am obliged by your gracious words, full of praise. But I am more eager to know about your special proposal. O King, your straightforwardness is praiseworthy. Now listen, my dear King, my proposal is far better than your peace agreement. Just as the beauty of a gold ring when studded with a diamond exceeds their individual beauties. My proposal will increase the splendor of our kingdoms and bring the two royal families closer. Your 
Yes, O King. I desire to offer the hand of my illustrious daughter Padmavati in marriage to you. Would you? Would you accept my proposal? This King Purushottam Dev ever desires peace and prosperity for all. And if our peace agreement can flourish in this alliance, then I, without hesitation, embrace your proposal. Gajpati Maharaj, Shri Purushottam Dev Ki Jai! Mahamantri, commence all preparations for the royal wedding with great invitation. Unfortunately, there are some pending political matters. So, I won't be able to attend the Rathyatra of Lord Jagannath. But nevertheless, Mahamantri Chinnu Bhatt will grace the occasion. Legendary ruler of Orissa engaged as a street sweeper? How can I believe my own eyes to see a dignified king doing such a humiliating low-class labor? Is this the culture of this so-called royal family? I must report. I must report this shameful act immediately to King Shalvandar Simha. And so, the news swiftly reached the King of Kanchi, who turned red with anger. What? A bhangi? Never! The royal son-in-law of Kanchi can never be a low-class street sweeper. It appears that the Kshatriyas of Orissa have lost all power to hold swords and lances in their arms. And thus, we see only broomsticks in their arms. Alas! Where is that valor? Where is that might? Where has it all gone? 
the son in law of Kanchi? A Bhungi? Never! How dare the king of Kanji show such impudence? By rejecting this alliance, he has not only insulted me, but has insulted Lord Jagannath himself. He has now earned my wrath. The world shall witness that these hands would serve Lord Jagannath. These same hands also have the power to sever the heads of the offenders. <laughs> the arrows of words cannot penetrate the armors of Kshatriyas Purushottam Dev. This is a battlefield. Let the arrows, let the arrows from Aquima speak, O oh Invincible King. Akraman! Purushottam Dev, only warriors of royal blood are victorious on the battlefield, not low class sweepers. What? 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 A bhangi? Never! Low class sweeper. What? What? A bhangi? Oh Lord Jagannath, alas! to bow my head and kneel down in front of that ordinary king of Kanji. Why, O oh Jagannath? Why? Maharaj Purushottam Dev, I am pleasantly surprised to see you here. Please accept my obeisances, O oh sage. Who are you? And how do you know me? O oh great king, my name is Shaikatacharya. I have observed you offering humble loving service to Lord Jagannath during the Grand Rath Yatra festival. Maharaj, I see that you are in immense distress. What can possibly be the reason for your lamentation? When King Purushottam Dev narrated the events that led to the king's state of distress. O oh great king, now I understand the cause of your distress, but I wish to draw your attention to something very important, something 
that you forgot. And what is that, O sage? Did you approach Lord Jagannath for his infallible blessings before the war? Blessings? O king, when the senses go wild and uncontrolled, they bewilder the intelligence of even the wise. Because of the engulfing situation of battle, you forgot to approach Lord Jagannath for his divine blessings. Thus chastised, yet enlightened by the words of the learned sage, King Purushottam Dev rushed to the shelter of Lord Jagannath in the Sri Mandir of Puri. With folded palms and the turmoil of emotions running deep, Purushottam Dev humbled himself in front of his beloved Lord, begging forgiveness. The ocean of repentance in his heart gushed out in the form of torrents of tears. Oh Lord of the Universe, Oh Jagannath, I beg your forgiveness. I had the audacity to march arrogantly to the battlefield without seeking your blessings. Oh infallible one, I am incapable of defending the flag that marks your kingdom. Today, the dignity and pride of the land of Orissa rests in your merciful lotus hands, O oh Lord. Rest in your merciful lotus hands. My dear Purushottam Dev, do not be distressed by this insignificant turn of events. Gather your army and march towards Kanchi. This time, I, along with elder brother Balbhadra, will fight in the battle on your side. Oh dear Gajpati, be rest assured, this battle is now no longer between two kingdoms, but between me and Kanchi. The next day, the rays of the rising sun knocked every door in the land of Odisha with the wonderful message that the two lords, Jagannath and Balabhadra, would be riding to the battlefield in the fight against Kanchi. Saraswati, how are you? Shohab bhalo acha Ganga Devi. Tumi eto din dhore kothay chile? Where were you all these days, Saraswati? I had gone to my mother's place. Raju aur Shima kemon ache? Raju, Raju ekun khub badmash hoyi geche. What to tell you, Jamuna? Acha acha, you sab chodo. Amar deri hoyi jashe. I'm getting late. I have to go, okay? 
কেনো কি হয়েছে মেরা ইয়ার রাশিং আরে যমুনা আমাকে রাজু কে তৈরি করে হি ইজ অলরেডি গেটিং লেট ফর পাঠশালা কেনো তোমার পাঠশালা তৈরি করব তোমার যুদ্ধের জন্য তৈরি করো যুদ্ধের প্রিপেয়ার ফর ওয়ার যুদ্ধের তৈরি কেমন যুদ্ধ ও গঙ্গাদেবী তুমি জানে না না ও যমুনা তুমি ভি জানে না না ও সরস্বতী আপনি ভি না জানে না ইউ অলসো ডোন্ট নো না জানবি ও গঙ্গা যমুনা সরস্বতী আপনি কিছু ভি জানে না আরে না ও গঙ্গলি দাদা এ তো কিছু জানে না কি বলবে এ বাবু তোমরা তো সবাই জানো কি না আরে পার কি ঠিক হে বাবু তোমরা সব শুনুন জগন্নাথ বলদেব কাঞ্চিত যুদ্ধে স্বয়ং সাবিল হবেন কি বলবে বাবু কি বলবে কি বলবে কি বলবে বলো জগন্নাথ স্বামী কি জয় মহান কৃষ্ণ ভগবান কুরুক্ষেত্রতে অর্জুনের রক্ত চালিয়া তেমনি জগন্নাথে বলদেব পুরুষোত্তম মহারাজ সঙ্গে যুদ্ধ করবেন আমি বি এই যুদ্ধে ভাগ নেব ও দাদা কি বলবে আমার রক্ষা করিবে ভগবান জগন্নাথ যদি যুদ্ধতে আমি মরা যাই তো জগন্নাথের দর্শন করিতে করিতে প্রাণ থাকব ওর যদি জীবনে বাঁচি তো জগন্নাথে আনন্দে শামিল হইব জগন্নাথ আমার প্রাণ জগন্নাথ আমার ধন আমি বি আমি বি এই যুদ্ধ জগন্নাথের সাথে ভাগ নেব অমরাবি 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 আমি সব জগন্নাথের সাথে যুদ্ধতে ভাগ নেব জয় জগন্নাথ জয় জগন্নাথ the entire population led by king purushottam dev and his army rushed to witness the most extraordinary event that was about to unfold his faith and conviction revived by the divine words of jagannath purushottam dev marched towards kanchi eager to be an instrument in the transcendental pastime of the law but a doubt arose in his mind will the two lords chaknath and balbhadra actually be on my side in the battle meanwhile two special soldiers sped towards the chelka river at the speed of lightning they appeared effulgent and powerful with unmatched beauty crossing the river they entered a dense forest dao ji we have left our army far behind he madho You appear to be very eager for the battle. Yet, yet you present yourself so gravely. Why not? After all, it is not my honor and dignity that is at stake, but that of my beloved devotee, King Purushottam. <laughs> Dao, what can I do? the love of my devotee binds me in such a way that i just cannot tolerate any offense towards them name bhakti pranashyati <laughs> dao ji i am feeling extremely thirsty oh look there 
Let us ask this old lady. Oh mother, do you have some buttermilk? Yes, yes, surely. How much would you like to have? Everything, whatever you have. Ah, that was wonderful. Thank you, mother. Stop, stop, please stop. You have not paid for it. Our King Purushottam Dev will soon pass this way and he will pay for it. King Purushottam Dev? But how do you think your king will believe me? Hmm. This is my Ratna Mudrika. Just show it to the king. Stop! Stop! Oh king, please stop! What is it old lady? How can I help you? Oh King, I daily sell buttermilk for my living. Two of your magnificently dressed soldiers just passed by. They drank all my buttermilk to their heart's content. But, but when I asked for my payment, they, they said you will pay for it. Two soldiers? Puddle milk? But how can I believe you? Yes, yes, O King, yes. <laughs> they told me to show you this ring. Oh, this, this is the Ratna Mudrika, the ring of Lord Jagannath. Do you know what this means? It means that the Supreme Lord Sri Jagannath and Baldev are personally present with us in this fight against Shalva Narsingha. Victory awaits us, so soldiers! Victory awaits us! What is your good name, O oh lady? My name... My name is Manika. Oh, Manika! You are an extremely fortunate lady. Do you even know to whom you have served the buttermilk? They were none other than their lordships, Sri Jagannath and Sri Baldev themselves. You are blessed to see them face to face directly. I declare that from today this village will be known as Manika Patnam. In this way, King Purushottam Dev was convinced that Lord Jagannath and Baladev were personally fighting on his side in the war. Purushottam Dev and his men marched confidently towards Kanchi. A fierce battle ensued. Jagannath and Baladev destroyed the army of Kanchi. Together, they totally defeated King Shalva Narasimha of Kanchi and made him bite the dust. Look, look here, Kanchi Naresh. These are the same hands. These are the same hands which were belittled by you as those of an ordinary sweeper. But today, by the mercy of Lord Jagannath, the same hands hold the sword that decides your fate.
गजपति महाराज श्री पुरुषोत्तम देव की माय डियर किंग मेनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू यू द लैंड ऑफ कांची इज नाउ अ पार्ट ऑफ द किंगडम ऑफ ओरिसा फर्दर द किंग ऑफ कांची हैज ऑल्सो अग्रीड टू हैंड हिज डॉटर प्रिंसेस पद्मावती इन मैरिज टू यू नो महामंत्री her father insulted the service of lord jagannath by comparing it to that of an ordinary bhangi hence i order you to get her married to the best sweeper of our kingdom but my lord do as i say mahamantri do as i say in this way king purushottam dev refused to marry the princess of kanchi padmavati He left the responsibility of her marriage upon his prime minister. A year passed by, but still the prime minister could not execute the order of his king. And then came the grand festival of Rath Yatra. Maharaj Purushottam Dev once again resumed his favorite service to Lord Jagannath. My dear king as per your order for one complete year i have been searching for the most qualified sweeper for princess padmavati and today and today my search ends oh gajapati maharaj shri purushottam dev would you please accept the hand of princess padmavati He protected the seed from the weeds of corruption and deceit and watered it with integrity and righteousness. This wonderful seed transformed into an enormous tree that made an extraordinary contribution in the past times of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gajapati Maharaj Shri Pratap Rudradev such were the gajapatis
महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिने गौरत्विशे नमः